what's up guys Cine stalker here from a video in this video right here it's been me going around town a little old-fashioned fun stalking around town see what i can see what kind of cool things i might be able to buy or get hopefully get something cool and also in this video i got some cool handful of like a nice little stack of like that of movies reviews i'm gonna talk about with you guys and also a cool upcoming project my buddy uh, jose just uh, put out there Link below for his uh, this new documentary he just, he just did, this Mikeymentary. Check it out. I'm going to do a link below with that also toward the end of this video. So let's get going and do some stocking around town, shall we? First spot of the damn hit up, good old classic Fluffy Gamers book off. Oh, yes. Go in here. Try to get that out of print titles before he gets them because you always get them, man. You always get them, dude. So I'm going to go in here real quickly so I can find something. What the heck? Start off the day off. That book off. And after, after that, other places too, of course. Here we are inside. It's about uh, 10 30 in the morning. So I'm here kind of early. Which is kind of nice, gonna get the day going early and try to find the good titles if there is any inside this place. Let's move around here and see what I can see. These are the little cheap 250 ones. I'm gonna look in here though, because you never know, something might be in this area that it might accidentally put here. So I'm gonna look in here real quick, see if I can find something. I think I found what I wanna get. Good old Geely, best movie ever. Just kidding. Some of the kids' ones, and you get the TV show type stuff. It was a good deal for this. I like, always loved uh, the show Entourage. The first season, only like 250 right there. My other seasons, too. I think from like one to three, one 250 a pop. It's a pretty good deal. Over here, you get these classic Disney tins. This one's uh, 50 bucks. That's probably what it goes for. I don't even know. Those are always worth some cash. Like most of these are worth some money, like 100 bucks or so. To research this one up to see what it's going for. I'm just walking around, it's all kind of changed around. It used to have like all these other DVDs over here, but now they got like video game stuff over here, Blu rays, and other DVDs up here. So I'm gonna go through here and see if I can find any out of prints or whatnot. So hopefully, I get lucky. I don't know if I found this, this old DVD. Check that out. It's actually, I have this on videotape, it's actually a pretty good movie. Like a, like a action thriller. But check out this menu. Look at this. I thought I'd show that. Like how old that is. Like Reverend DVDs that came out. Look at this thing. It's like really paint, uh, plain and basic. Like, oh man. That's a comedy. This is pretty cool. Nice code red title. Good company from, you know, actually a lot more from back in the day. These you put out a lot more stuff. But I still put out stuff now. This is a good one though. Devil Times 5. It's a good like, you know, like the movie where the kids kill the adults kind of movie. Um, has like Leaf Garrett, that 70s uh, actor in it. Uh, but a cool movie right here. Def definitely a good one if you like those uh, weird 70s killer kids type flicks. And they have that little thing going on. Pretty good one. It's pretty cool that you have this one. So I just left book off and actually found a couple of things. One thing I was surprised was pretty cheap. I'll show you guys right now. First I got this for the hell of it. Last Action Hero soundtrack. Only two bucks. I'm like... What the hell? Get some metal in there, some old rock, things like that. So check that out. This find right here, I just got, I can't believe, only like $6.99, Sleepaway Camp 3, the Shout Factory release. I'm like, dude, took it for six, seven bucks. I'm gonna get that, you know, so great deal. I think they underpriced that. I'm just, I'm just guessing. I think they did. So good finds right there, fun stuff, good things. I want to check this out. I haven't watched this in such a long time. So look forward to checking that out tonight. Now off to somewhere else. I'm about to go see the most famous wrestler of all time right now. I really am. Right there, brother, Hulk Hogan. Right over there in the flesh, brother. Check that out. Hulk Hogan right there. I told you I'm going to go see the most famous wrestler of all time. Right over here. Say your prayers, drink your milk, and eat your vitamins. Something like that. 24-inch pythons. Isn't that weird? A Hulk Hogan statue, brother. Have to put me in a headlock or something. Look at the likeness of Hulk Hogan. Check it out. Interesting, look at that. Is this licensed by the WF back in the day? Probably not. But interesting, right? Hulk Hogan with the, this just says wrestler on the shirt. Just says wrestler. It doesn't say Hulkster. Wrestler. It was probably maybe a knockoff Hulk Hogan. That's great though. Now, after seeing that Hulk Hogan knockoff statue, I'm pumped. I'm going to play some Last Action Hero. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man. Oh yeah. The memories are flooding in right now with this song, ACDC. Fun soundtrack, man. Good stuff. Oh yeah, now to go to this place. Good old Team Ambent's thrift shop. Have been over here in a little while. Let's go see if they have any new 
old school retro board games and tapes to get. Hey, looking over into board games first, like I usually do, and so far I am seeing nothing much to get. It's mostly looked like just newer kind of things and stuff like this. One's like, what's this called? Like Nutsy Tennis. Look at that. This is Nutty Nutsy Tennis. Whack it, lob it, curve it. You control the shot. Closer look at it, it's like a weird sort of table tennis thing. You control these paddles, hit with, the, with your thumbs, and that kind of deal. Nutsy tennis. It's the funnest set of tennis you'll ever play. Huh. Definitely looks like something from like early 80s. Maybe I'll get this. I don't know. Let's go check out the movie area. Well, I think about maybe getting that board game, that weird tennis one. I look it up, it's actually from the 70s, 1974 actually. Topsy Tennis or something like that, like whatever it's called. I'm gonna look over here, see if I find anything good. That's how I was here, nothing much. Probably the same thing, but I'll look anyway, just in case. So I checked out Nutsy Tennis, and I was gonna get it, like the little things work, this little paddle thing works, looks like the inside, but this one, this doesn't even work, it's like stuck. So I can't get this, I can't even play it. Cause it's like, well, I'm gonna just play with, play with myself with this one. No, you can't do that. So that kind of sucks. I would have just got this for the hell of it, but oh well. That's what it looks like inside. 1974 style. So I didn't get anything in there, so off to somewhere else. You know what I'm gonna do right now? Movie reviews right now. Movie reviews in the back of my car because it's kind of fun like that. Why not, right? So here we go. Right now, some movie reviews from Arrow Video, MVD Entertainment, and all the films right up here. First up here by Arrow Video is this one, the Bloodthirsty Trilogy, with these awesome Japanese horror films by like to the Toho Company. And these movies right here are pretty much like inspired by the uh, like British horror Hammer films, but it's like these like uh, Japanese version, Dracula versions, on uh, the Japanese take of them, Toho style. In these three movies, you get. The Vampire Doll, Lake of Dracula, and Evil of Dracula. And here is the back of it right up here, loaded up with all kinds of nice interviews right here by a film historian about the, how, the, the, how the trilogy started and things like that. Beautiful cover, a nice smooth cover right here. Good movies. These movies are pretty fun, like a gothic style, very Hammer-esque and kind of creepy and slow burn at times, but really well done, actually, I thought. And it was cool, like, you know, Toho, and Toho did, like, the Godzilla movies and all that kind of stuff. Japanese, big Japanese studio and things like that. So if you're into, like, British, like, Hammer-type films, Universal Monster movies, that kind of stuff, you'll definitely enjoy the Japanese take of it in the Bloodthirsty Trilogy right here, brought by Arrow Video. Next up here is a, one that I liked since I was a kid, is this one, Jim Bernowski's The Return of Swamp Thing by MVD Entertainment. And this cool rewind collection has like that VHS look with the stickers and that kind of deal. Definitely like this one, starring Heather Locklear. And then, you know, of course, you get Swamp Thing makes his return from the first movie. And he's like, and you get Dr. Arcane. And Heather Locklear's character is like the stepdaughter of Dr. Arcane. So he goes to visit her dad, see what's going on. And she's, like, she's like a plant lover and that kind of thing. And so Swamp Thing is like, he's like, they were hellbent and getting revenge on Swamp Thing, Dr. Arcane. So he wants to make his own creatures, like his own army of the unmen by splicing up human genes with like plants and swamp creatures and all that kind of deal. And so doing so, he makes his own army of crazy creatures in this movie right here, which is fun. It's like these like weird looking creatures, like these, these weird looking big nose things and just weird kind of creatures in this practical effects of the 80s and stuff like that. So Swamp Thing and Head of Luck we have like this love interest thing going on throughout the movie too. So he rescues her. It's like a back and forth thing of revenge and that kind of stuff. And it's fun. Fun movies to watch all the time as a kid on HBO back when. Here's a back right here. All kinds of special features in this bad boy. You have like a nice interview with Jim Ornowski. Q&A of a movie premiere of it and that kind of stuff. Commentary. All that kind of thing right here. Great collection. Looks awesome on Blu-ray. Definitely happy this one's out. I love this movie since I was a kid, like I said. Just a fun one right here. Never seen before. Definitely check it out. It's just a fun one to watch. Next up here, also from MVD Entertainment, Rewind Collection is this one. Went to Coney Island on a Mission from God, starring John Cryer in this early 90s flick. Look at that. I love that kind of sticker. It's like looks like a fake, fake price tag. But this kind of, this neat like drama um, movie, like an indie drama, I would say, of these, of these three friends. The group is kids, and John Cryer is one of the friends. And when they, get, when they get older and stuff, they go back and they, they can't find his, his other, like their other friends. So the two friends go looking for him. They go to Coney Island try to find him over there. And it's like, because he's, he's gone missing and stuff like that. They kind of want to see where he's at. And on this mission, they, these, these, like the two friends have this weird adventures with the girls and other people and like weird characters to meet along the way on the on, on inside Coney Island, early 90s, which is great. Because you have a lot of good stuff on Coney Island, like a lot, a lot of cool 
carnival rides, Ferris wheels, a classic Coney Island stuff. You see early 90s style in this thing. It's a really well-made movie. I really enjoyed it. Like a nice, you know, friends coming of age kind of movie is this one right here. Definitely a good one to check out. Next to appear by all the films is this fun classic making its return. Oops. Making its return to DVD and Blu-ray is this one, A Bucket of Blood. Roger Corman cult classic from the late 50s. Starting like, it's like starring Dick Miller, a great actor, great character. It's been a bunch of movies. I love him in Explorers. Of course, Gremlins also, things like that. But this movie right here has, has him as like this artist during like the, the beatnik era. It's like these, all these you know, beatniks in the 50s, which are like, you know, these cool cats, these poet kind of cats, artsy kind of fartsy dudes from the 50s. That's what the beatniks are. So he's one of those guys. It's at this uh, cafe called the Yellow Door Cafe. He's an artist, but in doing so, like he's like a sculptor. But all his victims in the, in the, throughout the movie, they all become like dead. He sculpts over them and does all these like weird things with their dead bodies and stuff like that. And it's weird horror comedy type movie. And it's kind of weird Roger Corman style. One of his first flicks is this one, A Bucket of Blood. Um, good stuff. Good classic fun right there. Just good stuff right here. Def definitely enjoy this one. And there's the back right there, you know, of course some black and white. Definitely a full one right here, especially like kind of weird, you know, quirky kind of movies. Definitely like a bucket of blood. That's it for my reviews right here. Nice little stack of goodies. So if you want to get these flicks and more, links down below where you can get these movies at from these awesome companies. Check them out. Now back to the video at hand. Let's get back to it. Time for me to get out of the back seat right here. Yeah. Let's set this thrift shop and see what's inside here. See if anything good in the back here. I have all like, the toys and stuff at things like that in the cabinets but let me see what's in this one check this out look at this bud light stein with good old spud mckenzie on it right there that's pretty cool it looks like a light bulb or something well, that's really cool and check on this side over here look at this look at the old um, vr troopers check that out that's pretty neat and this uh blooper card that's pretty cool that 25 bucks huh and then check at this it's like all these other things. This place has been dead for a while with all kinds of stuff. Now they actually have some neat things. Look at this thing. I have no idea what that is. Like some like voice command, sort of like a weird Power Ranger thing. It seems like this like Ultraman slot machine, like Japanese slot machine thing. Look at that. Look at this thing. What is this? Like, it's like a big like looking Voltron thing. Just this giant 5-in-1 power defender with sound. That looks rad. What the heck is this? Like this Dark Tower fantasy game. 250 bucks. I don't know what that is. It looks cool the cover art though. That's pretty freaking rad. And then up here, oh my buddy went with one. Love this. Look, it's for like 10 bucks. You have like the Red Ranger. Are these like, yeah, these are original. Check this out. It's like it says home video. So there's definitely some early 90s Power Ranger figures for 10 bucks a pop. That's a good deal. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a demolition man for like, that's pretty cool. Spartan, what's that, seven bucks? <laughs> Maybe I'll buy that, I don't know. X-Men, um, Jimmy Superfly Snooker for 30. Look at that, the old WCW toy. Wow, that's freaking cool right there. Look at this, Million Dollar Man, Teddy Yossi. And for only a thousand bucks, you can get this set right here. Check this out, official Space Patrol. Rocket and Rex Mars. I remember it's an old 50s toy or something like that. That's kind of cool looking there, but man, a thousand bucks? Holy crap. Oh, look at that though. Very, very neat though looking. Right, so just left the thrift shop right over there, Veterans Thrift. Actually, um, Converse Thrift actually. I did get I did end up getting something in there. Had to had to do it, had to get this. When I saw it there, you know, hell yeah, I got it for like five bucks. I got a couple bucks less than what it was going for. It is this demolition man. John Spartan smash kick action figure. What? I totally forgot they even had toys for this. Check this out. From the 90s, I think 1993 classic movie Demolition Man. Pretty much like Taco Bell commercial. It's with it because they ate the Taco Bell. Um, but yeah, I saw this there. I was like, I had to get this. Super cool. Sebastian so Stallone even kind of looks like him. I, saw, I, I totally forgot they even had toys of this. All the other characters. You get the, you know, Phoenix. Look at the, you know, uh, Wesley Snipes character. Look at all this stuff, hilarious. Like, oh my God, dude. Retro goodness right there. That's some really good stuff at thrift shop. Definitely happy to, to get that. So that's pretty much the end of this video. So if I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, give it a thumb up, leave it a comment below. If you wanna get those movies that I talked about, link down below in the description box. Good titles right there. Fun, fun day and all. Sleepaway Camp 3 for a cheap price. Demolition Man Retro, a toy, Last Action Heroes soundtrack. Oh man, I love it when it's like that. And even saw Hulk 
Hogan, brother. How cool is that? So have a fun day. Keep on stalking. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. I'll see you.